Number two, our equation is y equals 2x plus 3. So our values that we're doing our plug-in are going to go here, and they've chosen different values than what we had for number one. So we got to pay close attention to that. So we have y equals 2. Wherever we're going to plug in our x, we either use parentheses or a times dot in a situation like this. And they gave us that we're plugging in negative 2. This is 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4, plus 3, which means our answer is y equals negative 1. Next, we're going to plug in negative 1. 2 times what we're, our plug-in our plug value is, which is negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Next, our plug-in value is 0. 2 times 0 plus 3 is y equals 0 plus 3. 2 times 0 is 0, and that's 3. Last one might be a good one for you to pause the video and try. We're going to plug in 1. And we get 5. You might also notice a pattern that occurs here doesn't necessarily go up by the same amount because some of these values might skip around like in the last one. But you might notice a pattern that all the values either go up or down, which can sort of indicate that you're on the right track.